love doing that to him. Well, Michael gets ready for the announcement of our 10 semifinalists and checks his socks. I want you to see our young ladies in swimsuit fashions by Catalina Juniors. Now, this is not the preliminary swimsuit competition which was held on this stage, but a fashion show in the Daytona Beach area. The waters of the Atlantic Ocean are calm as they wash up on the shores of Daytona Beach, famous for its sunshine and wide, sandy coastline. But for our contestants, it's exercise by the side of the pool. Well, some of them, anyway. Pool in the foreground, ocean in the background, and in between, a group that includes Miss Iowa, Kristen Hudson. Changing our viewpoint, we're now watching Miss North Dakota, Shannon Kaiser. Wearing a brush stroke print is Miss Massachusetts, Michelle Chasen. And while the beat goes on, it goes on without Miss Nevada, Wendy Lee Stewart. Bird in Hand is the name of Paul Ballacher's Driftwood Sculpture. And Shuffleboard is the name of the game being played by Miss South Dakota, Valerie Marsden, whose good shot seems to present no problem for her tough opponent, Laura Hawthorne, Miss Delaware. All right. Seagulls aren't the only ones attracted by a pretty young sunbather. This group of Daytona Beach boys stopped long enough to express their appreciation in Miss Utah, Michelle Montgomery, who acknowledges with a tip of her hat. Bye-bye, boys. Running on the beach is the exercise chosen by Miss California, Michelle Lowe, who hears Keep the Line Moving from Julie Stanford, Miss Marilyn. The waves roll, and so do Big Wheels Miss Hawaii, Michelle Harden, and Jennifer Tangora, Miss Missouri. Getting a kick out of the beach and out of this soccer ball is Miss Oregon, Dana Christensen, who must learn to keep her eye and foot on the ball. If you think metal detectors don't work on driftwood sculpture, you won't convince Miss Indiana, Danielle Wayne, who comes up with just what she came here for, a crown. Here they are again, ready to help damsels in distress. In this case, the problem is inflation of a beach ball, that is. So our gallant gentlemen come to the rescue of these two lovely ladies, Miss Nebraska, Elizabeth Feige, and Miss Minnesota, Jennifer Gessel. Talk up another for our Mission Impossible team. Oh, hey, fellas, there goes your ride. Speaking of fellas, here's a lucky one. This lifeguard gets to lend support to Miss Ohio, Michelle Bean, while leaning in another direction is Miss Tennessee, Wendy Laws. If she can't take this sculpture home, Miss Rhode Island, Corey Damiani, at least takes a picture. Reflections in the water at the Halifax Yacht Club mirror a group of relaxing contestants aboard these boats. But on the dock with a swordfish she claims she caught herself is Miss Arkansas, Dana Moody, chosen as Miss Amity by her sister contestants. Now we'll show you some Miss Teen USA teamwork. We start with an orange in the hand of Miss Michigan, Terry Turner. It flies through the air with the greatest of ease to Miss New York, Claudia Leem. A little razzle-dazzle. And then it's up to Miss Alabama, Del McGee. Pretty tricky, huh? Well, pretty anyway. Some of our contestants gather in a lighthouse to cheer on their brave seafaring friends. The sharp lady keeping the sharp lookout is Miss Arizona, Christy Vanny. And wearing a mitered swimsuit as she hauls in this heavy line is Miss Mississippi, Michelle Fouché. Well, no wonder the boat wasn't rocking. Now, two different artistic viewpoints. First, there's Miss Maine, Linda Keene, who lets us admire her work. But painting the hull is Miss Texas, Becky Pestana, who has her own way of discouraging would-be critics. More of Paul Ballacher's beautiful driftwood sculpture, and in keeping with our artistic theme, more painting. This time, the artist is Miss Georgia, Wendy Neuendorf. And her subject, the toenails of Miss Alaska, Bobby Mitchell. A masterpiece. The right order here, obviously, is two beauties on the rocks. Doing the fishing are Miss Washington, Lisa Elliott, and Miss Wisconsin, Lene St. There's a bite, but instead of a fish, they've landed a new friend, which seems to please the catchers and the catchee. Whatever she hears in that seashell, Miss Colorado, Rayanne Durkee, shares it with Miss District of Columbia, Melissa Gilbert, and it gets her a gift of a seashell necklace. The sculpture is called The Old Man in the Sea, and on a sand dune overlooking it, we find the luckiest bear in the state of Florida, who's the special picnic guest of Miss Illinois, Diane Lowry, and Miss Oklahoma, Allison Brown. Luncheon is served. Miss Vermont, Holly Mateva, sings that old favorite, row, 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 your rowing machine? 
while nearby, exercising in a two-tone belted tank suit, is Miss New Jersey, Rosalie Cecilia Cuso. And working out with hand weights, we find Miss Wyoming, Julie Henry. Are these teenagers enjoying Daytona Beach? Why, they're flipping over it. Time now for some volleyball by the sea, where we find a couple of New Englanders, Miss New Hampshire, Diane Dawdlin, who serves to Miss Connecticut, Karen Zawacki, a heads-up player. Ooh! Modeling her lace insert swimsuit is Miss Montana, Cami Castellecki, who's also enjoying a frisbee toss with Miss Virginia, Angela Thigpen. Go fly a kite is not always as easy as it sounds. A lesson that's being learned by this lady in the engineer striped tank suit, Carolee Hansen, Miss New Mexico. And also by her friend, Miss Louisiana, Shasta St. Angelo. Triker meets Hitchhiker as we get to meet Miss Kansas, Kimberly Gearins. And in the floral print suit, Miss West Virginia, Jody Caldwell. As they ride up the beach, guess who's back? That's right. And their passenger is Miss Idaho, Catherine Kumba. The rolling sea leads us to a sculpture of that mythical animal, the unicorn. But there's nothing mythical about these horses or the young ladies riding them. From our host state, we welcome Miss Florida, Stephanie Smith, and Miss Pennsylvania, Melissa Forlini. And here to lead them off, wearing her tab-sided Mayo suit, is Miss North Carolina, Denise Marie Jenkins. And here are two Southern Bells, whom I'm sure would make a big hit with the birds even if they didn't feed them. Miss Kentucky, Amy Miller, and Miss South Carolina, Angela Schuler. Well, the birds leave, and so do our contestants. After burning up the beach with our fashion show, it seems only right that our young ladies should ride off on fire engines. But instead of clanging bells and screaming sirens, it's big smiles and friendly waves from the 51 contestants for the title of Miss Teen USA 1986. Uh, ladies, don't look now, but I think you're being followed.